Hello there, Macors is here with a video about keyboard camera control. Patch 1.2.1 that I was working on has introduced lots of new shortcuts to control the camera. Let me demonstrate to you all of them. So let's start by setting up the shortcuts. My shortcuts are set up in this way. So I have add duration and reduce duration shortcuts are right below the next camera fixture and previous camera fixture shortcuts. Then most of these are remain the default one. Path fixture shortcuts are period and comma. They also near each other. Then adding camera fixtures shortcuts are horizontally placed right before G key. Then edit is Y. Reload and save V and B, they are also together. And remove is M. Now let's start playing with these shortcuts. In order to demonstrate all of the shortcuts, Let's create a simple scene over here using the camera fixtures. Okay, so let's start with idle fixture showing the tree. Okay, so for me, K key is the key for idle fixture. Then let's do something with path fixture, like showing from above and descending and then showing the tree. Okay, so here, yeah, semicolon. Then um, let's add a circular fixture in the center, like that. Um, here, right in the center. It was an H. Then we also left follow and look fixture. So I create two bunnies. So first bunny would be the follow fixture. So this one. Uh, I think it's it's a J. Yeah, it's a J. And then another one is look fixture is binding to L. Okay, so we create all of the fixtures. Notice that all of them are one second by default. When you create them, they are one second. I'll show you how to manipulate the camera fixtures in the scene. So to select camera fixture, what you do is pressing either left or right square bracket to select the camera fixture, like that. So it would be one, I select one, then I select two, three, and four. So when it's selected, it basically becomes bigger than other fixtures. Let me show you the shortcuts to edit and remove the camera fixture. So for example, I'll create the camera fixture over here, an idle, then I'll select it. I can change its position by pressing the edit shortcut like that. So for me it's Y, if I press Y, it will, will be transferred from over there to here. To remove it, simply press the remove shortcut, which is for me is M. There is also a nice shortcut G, which teleports you to the camera fixture. To increase the duration of the camera fixture, you could use the keys for adding and reducing. So to add, you press the adding key, for me it's backslash and to reduce is apostrophe for me. By default they are not set, so you have to set it. Then also uh, those keys are reducing and adding the duration by 100 milliseconds, so it's 0.1 seconds. To manipulate the pad points in the pad fixture, we could use the added shortcuts to add or remove last pad point in the pad fixture. So I have keys for adding is period and and for removing is comma. So when I add, for example, I go right here, I press period, now the point is created. Let me increase the duration of this camera fixture and when I'll run it, it will add the pad point. So that's it about pad fixture manipulation. Last category of shortcuts that is left to show is save and reload. So first, what you need to do if you created brand new camera profile, you need to save it. Let's call it test. Okay, so I saved it. To save the camera profile with keyboard, you should assign the key for saving. For me, it's B. And to load, for me, it's V. So for example, let me show you. 
if I'll change, for example, the position of this camera fixture we are editing for here, then if I'll load it again by pressing V, it will get back here because on the server it still wasn't saved. But if I'll change it again and then press B and then load it again, then it will be always for this position. So that's it about camera shortcuts. There is still cases where you have to use camera command, but those shortcuts definitely making camera control a little bit easier than 1.2. There's still lots of room to improve, like selecting parts, fixture points, controlling them, altering circles, fixture properties, and so on. I hope you enjoyed this video, or at least it was helpful for you. Thank you for watching.